In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. It is a great pleasure to be together to praise the name of God, and we do so here uh, with privilege and honor at, Saint, or at uh, Sacred Heart Parish in Pine Creek, and we're with parishioners from Saints Peter and Paul in Independence and Saint John the Apostle in Whitehall. Uh, my name is Father Woody Pace. As we prepare to receive the presence of Christ given to us, let us ask for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to gather the nations into the peace of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You continue to come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together let us join the song of the angels as we say, Glory to God in the highest, and peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob. Exalt at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north, I will gather them from the ends of the world, with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mother and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road, so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Oh. 
St. Paul to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so, for this reason, we must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son, this day I have begotten you, just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and following him and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I always find this particular gospel one of the more comical encounters with Jesus, one of the funnier examples of uh, what is happening around him, because we have a blind man that is not acting at all blind, and we have a crowd of disciples that are not acting as if they understand anything of what's going on, acting as if they are not disciples at all. And the collusion then changes the lesson that we can take from Jesus at the end. It's not necessarily about the healing of the body, but instead it's about the healing of the soul. So we have a blind man, and he is named 
Uh, we know that his name is Bartimaeus, then that he is the son of Timaeus. So already he has an identity beyond his illness. But then along the way, he doesn't act at all as if he is blind. So he is calling out to Jesus, and uh, he is the one with great courage. He's not timid about it. He's not letting his uh, handicap keep him in the shadows, but instead he is shouting out to Jesus. And then when he is told that Jesus is calling him, he jumps up, throws off his cloak, and he runs to Jesus, exactly the opposite of what you would expect from someone who cannot see. When he comes to Jesus, he calls him master. He says, master, I want to see. But already he has seen who Jesus is. Not just teacher, rabbi, but Lord and master. So now we have the disciples, the crowd. They are bumbling as they watch what is going on. At first they want to quiet the one who needs Jesus the most in their midst. And then uh, when Jesus says, call him, they tell him, be of courage. Well, he's the one with courage in their midst. They haven't noticed the fact that he is with great courage. And then then they see what is happening. At the very end, it's not the blind man who changes more, but it's the disciples, the crowd around Jesus. They suddenly get a name of Christian. They see Jesus and what he has done. So the lesson in the end is for us to open our eyes, to see the presence of Christ around us, to know who he is, and to treasure him in our lives who can do all that we ask of him. So in that faith, let us stand then as we profess and ask God for an increase and strengthening of our hearts. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven. True God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, men, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ, the new Adam, has destroyed sin and recreated us in his image. United to him, let us offer our prayers to God the Father. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose lives are endangered because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, terrorism, or other persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. During this time of our diocese 150th anniversary, May the Lord's church flourish, and this land continue to yield in abundance and grace and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that the prayers we make in Christ's name hasten the coming of your kingdom and assist us in glorifying your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of the whole church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Oh, amen. Oh, amen. Oh, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks Thanks be to God. everybody, Bishop Callahan here, thanking you for joining us for the celebration of the Holy Mass today. Thank you for being with us throughout the year as well. Your support for this work of charity in our diocese means so much to so many. We pray for you and continue to remember your intentions each and every time we celebrate the Mass, both on television and in the church as well. God be with you and thank you again.